to do with hundreds of deer carcasses. Well, about a year ago, uh, DEQ cited us for uh, we were dumping some deer over an embankment, and uh, somebody reported it, and it was an unsightly situation, so it kind of forced us to think outside the box. Welcome to the Montana Department of Transportation Deer Compost Center. When I was approached on it, uh, I had to make it One year later, the once skeptics are now believers. It's a positive thing. It's pretty sanitary, and uh, we're kind of excited about it. The process is as simple as it is innovative. It takes about two weeks to fill one of those bins with usually 30 deer, and we'll lay them on a bed of sawdust, and then after they're on the sawdust, we'll bury them with compost about a foot of wood chips on top of that. And then we'll let them sit for about a two weeks. Then the carcasses heat up and cook. 150 degrees for five days really shrinks them down. Just some skulls and some bigger bones is all that'll be left. But that's not the end of it. Well, that pile has about 400 plus deer in it. And it will shrink in size as it, uh, as it continues to decompose. Maybe what's most impressive and surprising is if you didn't know better, you'd never guess you're surrounded by hundreds of one-time deer carcasses. You, know, you can see our piles back here. You walk by them, and you just cannot smell them. They have more of a earthy smell or a wood chip smell to them. It's amazing. 